but um, I don't really regret hanging out with uh, Dij at the moment because we've been having we having a lot of things happening uh, with us moving in. Also, what did I just drop? Oh, that's my phone. Good thing I've got carpeting. But otherwise, that would have been actually my phone would have been fine anyway. It's in its case. You can ignore that. I was trying to pick up the Xbox controller and the cable knocked it over, that's, that's a good start. So let me just check that the audio is working. Yep, everything's good. So unfortunately, um, Hat Girl or whatever na her name is, is not confirmed for Smash, but maybe she'll be in the Sis Trophy. I mean, she has the Smash symbol in her eyeballs there, so possibly. I've said this for a number of other games I've been streaming lately, but this is like the first stream I've done since E3 of 2018. So I know all about Smash Bros. Ultimate. It looks pretty good. Didn't expect it to be like every character, like every character so far, including Snake. So if I recall, the last thing we did was the forest, the subcon forest, and we beat the boss. So. I guess the next area is... I'm trying to remember where I think it's in here. Also, I need to remember how to do this. How to do my moves. Yeah, I believe the next area is in here. Yeah. So we'll just continue on our merry way. Real quick, I just need to move the chat window to the other monitor so that I can see the game properly. There we go. Chapter 4 Alpine Skyline. By far my favourite chapter is Chapter 3, which was the subcon for us that we just completed the last time we played this. Remember how you do that dash thing where you like jump back up after dashing? Can't really practice it here. Alright, okay, it's dash and then jump. I was trying to like press the dash button twice. Oh, that actually does work. You just have to do it at a certain um, window of time. Uh, hang on a second. I don't think the chat is showing up on... Like, it's showing up on stream, but it wasn't showing up on the browser, which is how I'm seeing you guys talking. But try sending a message now. I just looked at OBS to see what the last message was. It was MSP saying hi, so yeah, hi, hi MSP. So you haven't missed much, I just started like a minute ago. Boing. That's right, we've got like a stomp attack. I forgot about that. Right, okay, I'm receiving messages now from the browser. You got in, th you were playing Fortnite, you got in the top five, but you didn't come first. Yeah, eventually you'll get first. Like, you've just got to keep playing till you get it. Speaking of Fortnite on Switch, actually, there hasn't been an update on Sony's part of being like dicks about the fact that you cannot like carry your saves over from one platform to another so there's been zero updates on that front but there has been an interesting development with the game itself most more specifically the switch version for some reason because apparently this has not been found in other versions but it seems like in the switch version if you go into any building that's got like a, a television 
then there's like a, a countdown that sometimes appears on it. And apparently the countdown is for Tuesday morning, which is when the weekly update drops. So I'm not sure if there's something that's going to be dropping for the Switch version specifically, or if this is just for all versions of the game. Because Tuesday is usually when they like update with a new feature or changes to the to the game. Usually they change the limited limited time modes as well. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I'm still playing the PlayStation 4 version, but I have been playing the Switch version on the side on a on a guest account just so I can get a little bit more practice in. But as soon as season five begins, if Sony doesn't really do anything about the situation where I can't carry my save over, I might just start a brand new save and only use it on Switch, Xbox and PC. At least that way I can actually play with people. And say if say I know some people who only have it on PlayStation 4, I could just hop onto the PC and play them there. So that's probably the best way to do it. I wish I had the foresight to see that Sony was going to do this. Kind of sucks. Like I'm not the only one that's sort of stuck with this problem. Also, I can't land on top of those skulls. What is this? Oh, I see. Right, you're supposed to hit it. It could possibly be a Nintendo-related thing, yeah. Okay, I wonder what this is building up to. We have truly ascended. Also, the way I like grappling onto this while sliding on the line, it just reminds me of uh, the inner beam thing from Sonic Boom. Not that I've played that game, but I've seen like footage of it like from other people that played it. I don't know much about the goats up here, but we tried to give them a wide berth. I completely forgot this game had voice acting, but that's a good thing, because if you've watched my streams, you know I am terrible at reading dialogue. Like fucking Paper Mario last night was a good example of that. If you get in their way, they uh, tend to be a bit pushy. I mean, let me try it with my fucking Russian accent from the far outpost by bombs. If you get in their way, they tend to be a bit pushy. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Bet you're glad you won't have to hear that for the whole stream. Oh, wrong button. I meant to press this button. <laughs> yeah, Deej, you've been telling me that most of the stuff you've learned is from watching me play it. Which I guess I'm kind of flattered because most of the stuff I've learned I guess is from watching other people play it. Like when I was starting out I was just watching like Twitch streamers non-stop. Wasn't watching Ninja though because I really, like nothing against the guy, I'm just not really into the way he delivers his content on Twitch. There's like a couple other people on Twitch that are like also really popular but not as popular and those guys I enjoy watching because they're a bit more chill. There was one guy in particular but I can't remember his name. Also, hi Neuro. And yes, I did start playing Alpine Skyline. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, like I said, Smash Brothers was revealed at E3. I know I've said this like four times now on the stream recently, but this is just like for people watching this on YouTube when I eventually upload it, because this is like the first time I'm playing this since E3. But it looks pretty good. There's some people that complain, like there's two major complaints I've been hearing about the game. One, even though Snake is in the game, his ass has been is a lot less defined, and some for some reason people have a problem with that. Why don't we blow the horns ourselves? Up this high, the air is really thin. It's hard for us to take deep enough breaths. It doesn't seem to bother you, though. But yeah, uh, people seem to have problems with that. I'm not sure if they're just like being ironic or what, but it's kind of funny. But then there's other people, like Sakurai is like, this is our biggest Smash game ever, it's got every single character, it's got a few extra characters, it's got Ridley, which people have memed to death by this point. It's built with a new engine, it's built from the ground up, it's got new mechanics, it's got old mechanics, it's got everything you could ever want, and people still um, criticise it for being a port even though it's not. It's like, what the fuck? It is about as far away from a Smash Bros. port as you can get. There's a horn at the top. Thank you. Oh, I hate that thing. Yeah, let's see, where do I want to... Where should I go? Oh, right, this way? Yeah, never mind fighting them, I'm just going to jump over them. Oh shit, that was close. No Waluigi though. Now, there's been a bit of a theory going around whether or not Waluigi is going to be a playable character. Because yeah, as soon as they talked about the assist trophies, they shown him. But if you know Sakurai and his sense of humour when it comes to announcing like Smash Brothers shit, he has a weird sense of humour and he tends to be a bit of a troll sometimes. So I wonder if he's doing that on purpose, like he's being like, oh we've got assist trophies and yes, Waluigi is going to be an assist trophy. I wonder if he's doing that on purpose, and then like a couple months like down the line toward the release of the game, it's going to be like, we've got a brand new character for you. It's Waluigi. Yes, the footage we showed you that he was an assist trophy was not actually an assist trophy. We were just killing him because we wanted to have a bit of fun. I mean, you didn't actually see him attacking people, like you just saw him run towards someone but then get hit. And the rest of the footage could have just been like, not not um, not fabricated, but they could have just like created animations just for that joke, just to go the extra mile. I don't know. It could, it could be that. Well, Luigi's actually the hand. Yeah, I've seen a clip of that actually, but I don't know if I could show that on stream. But some somebody did a shit post where the master hand like is actually Wild Luigi, like his glove. First time I'm getting to use that, I guess. The old windmill is this way. Make sure you swing towards the path you want. Blow 
Oh shit. I thought I could land on that cloud. It wasn't until it was too late that I realized I couldn't. I didn't see the grappling point until I jumped. Didn't press the grapple button quick enough. So how many times have I died in this so far? Is it just once against the... Uh, against what's his name? Uh, the conductor? Welcome, young one. Please make a purchase at my humble stall. Right, let's see. Oh, here we go. We can upgrade the wing cap to a scooter. So we can actually drive around as a scooter now. If we equip that. No more bonking against walls while diving, that's good. Allows you to equip more than one badge. Didn't we buy this or is this like to get a third badge slot? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that as well. I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna buy the scooter upgrade. We've got plenty of uh, whatever those currency points are called. Shiny! Shiny. There we go. Yeah, we've got an extra slot. That's good. So now, uh, if I can remember how to... So yeah, now we can do this. Whee! I was kind of hoping this wasn't going to be relegated to that one mission at Subcon Forest because it's actually more fun than using a running hat. Let's go back to the ice hat for now. Try this again and not die. The birds at the birdhouse steal shiny things. Speaking of characters with a Scottish accent, I think the new DuckTales episode came out, but I've not actually watched it yet. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, right, okay. I thought I was supposed to hold forward to land on that line above me, but I can land here as well. But yeah, I've not watched it yet, so I'll probably watch that between now and the next time I stream. Maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Haven't really had the chance to check it out yet. Like, the DuckTales reboot has had this weird scheduling thing where it was doing weekly episodes for like a couple months, and now it's like... It does a couple episodes and then it's like on hiatus and then it does a couple more episodes and it's on hiatus. The, the TMNT show from Nickelodeon back in 2012 did that as well and I really hated that and I hope that's a temporary thing because I really would rather just watch it on a weekly basis instead of being constantly on hold for more episodes to come out. Can I dive? Nope. Okay, there we go, that works. Climbing up awfully high. Yeah, I hate these guys. I mean, they're not terribly difficult to um, deal with. It just they just kind of sneak up on you sometimes, like you don't realize they're above you. Right, 
here we go, second horn. I think one more to go. But yeah, I'm not sure what the new episode entails, but I'm waiting to see um, Magicka Dispel make her appearance in the reboot, because we've seen Gizmo Duck, we've seen Darkwing Duck, we've seen a few of the old characters from the old series um, make their appearance, and they've all been pretty good so far. So, Magicka Dispel, like, they kind of foreshadowed that a while back, like, last year, and I've been waiting for that ever since, like, for her to actually appear. Because if you don't know who that is, that's like one of the main, well not the main villain, but it was like one of the major recurring villains from the original series and she was kind of like a witch, sort of, like she had like um, magic, hence her name, Magica. Oh shit. Something tells me I shouldn't have did that. I'm assuming there was a zipline up there that I should have taken instead. Let me go back up and take that. Why am I missing? I am shooting between its legs. Let me try shooting it from here then. How do you miss a hitbox that big? Um... Excuse me? Okay, so his hitbox is just completely gone. Right, well fuck that then. Oh, I thought I could walk on that there. Where's that zipline then? Because I don't... I thought the zipline would be next to me after I blow that horn. That I just need to go back down. Oh wait, there is. It's down there. Camera please. I'm trying to pan the camera up so I can see what's below me. But it's not going any higher than this. Let me, let me back up. Maybe I can get a better angle from here. Right, okay, that's safe. Just want to make sure I don't die by doing this. yarn thingy. Why did I do that? Yeah, let me go grab that again. Make sure you swing towards the path. I still missed it. Are you okay? Okay, where the fuck did I wind up? Oh, right here. The birdhouse is this way. <laughs> Can I land on this? Okay, you can land on that one. Oh, that's for a yarn piece I probably don't even need. me making dumb noises. Oh, that's good, there's health right there. Okay, then let's continue. Okay, this is where it starts to get frustrating. 
haven't had much problems up till I got to this part of the level. Hey, this way doesn't lead to any peak. Cling. It's kind of difficult to judge the depth here. That's what's getting me. Right, okay, that's good. Right, we good. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way, but I'm gonna take this one and see where it leads me. Purloin Village. I think I spy some treasure. Yeah, that's good, we're back to full health. Wait, what the fuck? You bastards. Don't you dare steal my hat. Or my... whatever they're called. What are the crystal things called that, that you spend? Oh, you shitbag. Fucking came out of left field. Oh, this place. This place sucks. If I stay on the roof, they can't get to me. Oh. <laughs> it looks like I could drop down now, but nope. Check out that cat face right there. Comma three. Wait, is that a horn? Or oh, that's not a horn. If one of those cat things appear, I'm going to die. Oh, you suck. D don't. Yeah, I just called it. Second death, I think. How many times have I died so far? Because I know one time I died to that um, uh, conductor boss. I only remember that because the boss took so fucking long and I almost beat him and then I died at the very end. That was frustrating. I think I spy some yeah. I'm not sure if I've died since. I know I've come close to it a few times. But this time I'm just going to try ignore all these cat things. Because I tried fighting them, that was kind of a mistake. Oh! That was also a mistake. Also, hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I see you're all awake now. That's probably the best way to get someone engaged, just, just by making dumb shit noises. Especially with me talking with my monotonic voice most of the time. Thank you. 
Nope. Those cats can go fuck off right now. I completely forgot I could do that. That homing attack. In here I was trying to attack them with the umbrella like a sensible person. Oh, there's a yarn thing down there. Oh, no, that's not a yarn. Rift token. I don't remember what rift tokens do. I'm assuming it's something to do with a rift. Just call it a hunch. So as soon as they come out of invisibility, you can do your homing attack. Wait, didn't we come this way already? Yeah, I think we just I think I just went around in a circle. That's why I didn't go this way. the Purloin village. Okay. Oh, so I see the pun. Right, well, since we're done with this place, we can head back. The, the thingy wasn't here, whatever it was called. The, the horn to blow wasn't here. I love the way the music distorts when you're going really fast. There's a name for it. Fuck, the name's on the tip of my tongue. What's that audio effect called? I'm trying to figure out which way to go from here. Guess this way. Oh, we can choose the direction now? Right, okay, let's go this way. Right, we've not been the, to this one yet. Yeah, Alpine Skyline is really big, I've noticed.
Oh. Right, for the record I didn't realise you could actually land on those two thin sticks. Like, I tried jumping and I realised it wasn't a, a solid platform and that's why I kind of chickened out. But I can do that. Oh really? That looked like it was going to hit it. There we go. What? What? The fuck did... Did you see that? I lost all control and then suddenly I respawned on the bridge behind me. What? Oh, this is a tricky shot. There we go. So yeah, if you don't have the, the brew hat up to this point, you need to get it before you can complete this. Right, we're almost at the time piece. House. Welcome, young one. Oh, there's more badges. Plug your ears now, you can only hear vague mumbling. What? You die in one hit only for the brave. Huh. Automatically pull out your umbrella before deadly impacts. This one sounds weird, I'm not sure what this means, but I can't afford it. I'm just going to say thank, no thanks to all that for now. Quite happy with the current stuff I've got. I'll try to do a homing there. Do we have any hats left to make, or have we got them all? Yeah, it seems like we've got them all, unless there's like some more at the end there. There's something strange about some of those eggs. Oh, come on! Oh, wait, there's a heart thing there. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, I blew up the box and the healing item that came out fucking fell off the edge. Oh, there it is. Right, we'll disregard that entirely then. Didn't need it anyway, there was one sitting over here. But isn't that like the worst when you need a healing item and then it just like falls off the edge of a platform? Uh. Been continuing binging. Oh. There we go. At least that one does no damage to you. Uh, yeah, been continuing binging One Piece. I'm not sure if I've said that the last time I streamed this because I've been binging it for like a few weeks now. I'm currently on episodes. I don't remember the exact number, but it's like. I think about episode 301 or something. It's like very early 300s. So I've gotten quite far with it. I just finished a major arc that took like, it feels like 50 episodes to complete. That's the one thing about One Piece that kind of bugs me a little bit. Some of the story arcs can be a little bit long in the tooth and it's great for if you want to binge the so show like me, but it's also terrible if it's like, can we move on to the next adventure now because I'm getting kind of tired of this. 
I mean, it's, it's still fun to be invested in it and all, it's just sometimes it feels like they could cut that stuff down just a little bit. But it's, it's been quite fun to watch, nonetheless. Oh, it's those guys? From the Owl Express? Oh shit. Oh nice. So there's items hiding in those. Sometimes. Guessing I approach that from behind then in order to get in there. Oh I see. Right. Oh right. Okay. I realise what I'm supposed to do now. I am supposed to use this. sliding down that steep slope I couldn't enable the dweller mask until I was standing on solid ground or like in midair. So I was spamming it there and accidentally pressed it one time too many. So that's what happens. Uh oh. Oh right. That's how you do that. I wonder if I have enough relics to complete the crayon box thing now. Also, how the fuck do I get in there? Um, I pressed that once and it registered it as me pressing twice. What the fuck? Why is this level now reminding me of Billy Hatcher? Because eggs. Eggs and buds everywhere. Eggs and chicks. Check something real quick. Yeah, I don't see re really see any f way forward. I'm guessing it was just to get that ref token and nothing else. Fucking rip those enemies. Where's the hourglass? It's right in front of me, apparently. Question is if it's going to take. Like, how long it's going to take to get there? Oh. 
I'm just gonna wait for that to blow up. I'm gonna stand back a bit. Please don't knock me off. Okay, good. I was I was saying I wonder if it's going to be like a straightforward path. I mean, it looks like it, but I'm going to the side first just to see if there's anything here. Oh, don't <laughs> don't push him toward me. That was your fault. Oh, there's a horn. Right, this will probably help me get over there now. Yep. I had a feeling that if I went straight forward toward that I was going to um, be prevented from av advancing until I did something else. Fucking charged blindly into that. It's gonna appreciate this music a little bit because it's actually a pretty good tune. I was worried that as soon as I bounced on that enemy it would have woken up and become a boss fight or some shit, but that's not the case. This isn't Super Mario Sunshine with a fucking wiggler on top of the mirror tower. Hmm, I wonder what this is going to do. Interesting. We're still inside the level even though we got the timepiece. I don't know much about the goats up here, but we try to give them a wide berth. If you get in their way, they uh, tend to be a bit pushy. <laughs> oh, is that what was, pu what was pushing me around? I thought it was like a small bird. Kind of hard to tell. So I'm gonna find what I'm gonna find those big enemies that I saw in that cutscene because that might lead to what I'm supposed to do next, maybe. Yeah, here's one. Oh, um, okay then. Wait, no, this is the goat, right? Okay then. Oh, he makes me lose money, right? Okay. Not worth fighting. There was like a group of three of them that I think I need to find. I thought I was going to reach that. I really hate falling in this game. It's like the most annoying thing. There we go. The birds at the birdhouse steal shiny. Time stop yarn. Death is inevitable, your time is valuable, requires 32 yarns to stitch. Okay, so we haven't found all the yarn things yet. Okay, so how much do we have? We've got four, I think. Yeah, we've got four. That's going to take a while to get enough yarns for that one. Must be really good though.
There's one more. Oh, why the fuck did I continue swinging? <laughs> You'd think it would resume mid-swing, but it actually just stops it altogether. Horn down there. This one leads to a horn. You can just the purple time rift for this chapter is neat. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see that soon. Oh, it's more of these guys. I saw him, I just didn't react in time. Damn it. Come back here. There we go. That is a pretty big area, yeah. There we go. So I'm assuming this island is now complete. Yep. Right, so how do we get over there? Right, we need to take the yellow one then grab the blue one. You know, this area is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's really huge and therefore kind of daunting. But I'm not having too much trouble finding my way. Like, it, it's easy. It's probably easy to get lost. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm not getting all that lost. The windmill. Right, so this is where the second time piece is.
Welcome, young. Fast hats are a bad. Significant reduce the cooldown when using hats. Nah. Those ones up. So this area is reminding me of a particular area of a particular game, so I want you to see if you can figure out what that song is. I'm going to play it in a second. As soon as I can find it. And as soon as I set the quality down, because it's going to be playing at the maximum quality, which I do not want on stream. Just a moment, please. YouTube, please. This could end up killing my stream, but I'm willing to work. I'm willing to risk it. Right, let's see if this works. You tell me if this is if this fits. Let me turn that up a bit actually. Right, there we go. That should work. Jeez, what the fuck? Oh, I'm not dead. That was not why I intended to do that, but okay. I feel like I've heard this music before. You have. It's from a different game. I feel it's more appropriate for this area. Just because we're on, like, in the internals of like a big mechanical thing. Like, the actual music isn't really anything to write home about, so I'm just using this instead. It's actually really loud, let me turn that down just a smidge. Oh, so what is that noise? Um... What was that noise I just heard right now? I'll put on the actual music again in a little bit. I'm just going to enjoy this song. Where is this music from? It is from Banjo Tui. It's Gruntilda Industries. You broke a pawn capsule and didn't get all the pawns. Oh, okay. I didn't realise I did that. Not that it really matters, I've bought all the important stuff anyway, I think.
Is this the door? No, this is not the door that opened up. All oh, right, this just joins back up here then. Just a shortcut. I did the exact same thing. Would you say this music is fitting of this area? Should have seen that one coming. Someday we'll get a new Banjo Kazooie game and it will actually be good. Stranger things have happened, so never say never. It's probably not going to be by Rare though. I think um, Microsoft are going to end up outsourcing it to a company who could probably do it justice, but I'm not really sure who. Hell, fucking outsource it to Nintendo. Like, even if it's not on Xbox, just um, have Nintendo buy the rights to the game and then just make it themselves. I mean, that's just wishful thinking on my part, but again, stranger things have happened. Like, this just makes me want to play Banjo-Kazooie again now. Thanks for hat and time. Checkpoint. So I've been hanging out with Deej a lot lately because he's been moving into town which is pretty cool because he lives on the opposite end of Scotland so we don't get to hang out all that often. But he wanted to move into Glasgow for a while now and he got an apartment uh, not that long ago, like a few months back and he's been gradually in the process of like moving everything. He's, his apartment's looking much more homely now. I saw it like the other day and it looks pretty nice. So I'm quite happy for him. Uh, today we hung out, we went to this place called Costco, which I think they have in America or they have something like that. Because, because he has a, a card for Costco so he can actually show me what it was like. It's kind of cool, he gave me a little bit of a tour of the place. I didn't really buy anything, I was just window shopping, really. But it was fun just to have a look at it. Maybe next time I go down there I'll actually buy a bunch of stuff because the stuff you can buy there, like, is in bulk. So it's kind of interesting. Apparently the D-pad is a taunt button. And left and right changes the hats. Hat girl is spontaneously combusting. But yeah, it was kind of cool. I enjoyed it. It was a good day out, just to have a look. We're probably going to watch The Incredible Two, The Incredibles Two, either this week or next week. I need. To, I want to rewatch The Incredibles One before I do that, and I think he wants to do the same. So I'll probably find some time over this week or during the weekend to check that out. I wonder if the, Incre the Incredibles, like, I've got it on DVD, but he doesn't. So I'm wondering if it's on Netflix so he can check out. Because I know Disney's going to have all of their um, properties and stuff on their own online digital distribution platform sort of thing. But until then, I think most of their movies are on Netflix. Like, I know um, some of their recent movies are on there as of right now, but I think that's going to change, like, next year. I'm trying to figure out how to get in there. Oh, wait a minute. Right, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. 
or at least I thought I knew what to do. Yeah, give me another minute to figure this one out. Nope. Can I cheese this? <laughs> Turns out you can cheese it. I'm not sure what the intended method to grab that was, but I'll take that. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Those footsteps on the wall were a hint that I should go that way. Gotta love that cheese, though. I've been playing this for a while, this music, so let me turn that off. I think I've had my fill of that music, I've been doing that for like 10 minutes now. Let me just check if OBS is acting up at all. Nope, actually it's doing fine. I, make, I made sure to restart my router before I started the stream tonight. Because I've been having issues lately where the stream will just buffer to no end unless I do that. So rather than stream and then the stream starts buffering halfway, I figure I'd get out of the way before I start streaming. And turning the router off for five minutes, then turning it back on usually permanently fixes that for the night. There we go. Even an area as seemingly small and self-contained as this area is quite big. Because I've been spending like, what, 10 minutes here now? I run past that. Just looking around to see if there was anything on the edge of that platform. Any company can make a game better than Microsoft. Uh, not Microsoft themselves, I'm talking about Rare. Because Rare doesn't really know how to make a good game anymore. Like, they tried. I can't really say if they did a good job or not with uh, Grab by the Ghoulies, I've never played that. But from nuts and bolts onward, the track record has been pretty bad. Some might argue um, from uh, Star Fox Dinosaur Planet onward that the track record was pretty bad. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I do agree that that game is not great, like it's kind of mediocre, but I I guess I have a bit of a fondness for that game, as flawed as it may be. But I would rather play that game than Nuts and Bolts. And I have streamed it, like, a couple years ago. It's just a big labyrinth, this area. Is there a grapp grappling point? Because I keep hearing a button prompt. Oh, right, okay, I didn't see it there. I thought I had to get higher up so that I could jump on this block here.
But yeah, I'm not sure who's working on the Battletoads game, but I, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99.5% sure that it's not being made by Rel themselves. It has to be made by someone else. Because a couple years ago, um, Killer Instinct got rebooted and it was made by a completely different company. I think it was called Double Helix or something like that. And the game actually... I haven't played it myself, but it turned out to be really fucking good. Like, they knew what they were doing when it came to remaking that. So, really, what Microsoft should be doing, like, especially with their recent acquisition of all the new game studios that they talked about over E3, is basically just outsource their Railware properties to those studios. And then we'd get, like, new Rare games, but not by Rare themselves. And it pains me to say that because I want Rare to make good games, I want them to succeed. But I think they've had ample opportunity to prove themselves of recent, and they haven't... I kind of feel like, um, Sea of Thieves was the last draw for me. It was like, okay, that's the point where I draw the line. Again, it hurts me to say that, but... Gotta face the facts with this sort of stuff. I think there was a reason why Nintendo wasn't so willing to buy them back, like, or at least try to outbid Microsoft when Microsoft bought them in the first place. Like, I think they kinda knew that there was something going on behind the scenes with Rareware, because apparently a lot of the original staff had left the company around that time, so I'm guessing there was like some internal issues that led to um, issues with them developing games in turn. It's all speculation, but I think the minimum, like the minimum accepted fact, the fact is that there was problems going on with the studio, and there was being um, people leaving the company, which kind of sucks. Oh, at least I respawn up here. Got yourself a sandwich or two, what did I miss? Not much, just me going through this area here still. And talking about Rare and their... Rare and how they used to be good and they're no longer good. The closest thing we have to a competent Rare now is Platonic Games. And even they're not perfect, but I could see them doing good. Like, Ukulele wasn't terrible. But it wasn't great as well. Like, it wasn't amazing. But it was a competent collectathon platformer that tried to harken back to the days of Banjo Kazooie. And I, I don't know what their next project's going to be, but I look forward to seeing what else they can make. At the very least, stuff they make will be way better than what Rare can make, as far as I'm concerned. Almost there, I think. Nope. Oh, there we go. Kind of difficult to judge that distance there. Like, the depth between you and the platform you're jumping to. Right. Seems like we've made it. Wow, that was a pretty long one. That was a very long level. Right, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going now then. I don't know if you Uh what button do you press to check your objective? 
Because I know there's a button to do it, I just don't remember what it is. Is it your regular hat? Yeah, right, we're going that way then. I've been trying to not use that function, but this level's like so big and sprawling that I don't mind using it just this once. Just so that I know the general direction I'm going in and I don't get lost for like 20 minutes. Because I managed to find two timepieces without using it, so I think I owe myself using it once. Just so I know I'm in the general direction of the next timepiece. Bird pass folk. Or fork, sorry, not folk. Hey! This way doesn't lead to any peaks. The birdhouse is this way. Right, we beat the birdhouse. Definitely not been here yet. Oh. Couldn't quite activate that there yet, but it's alright, we made that. Don't you hate it when bread is like rock hard? Uh, I haven't had bread in a while, like conventional bread. But yeah, I, I guess. I mean, who do who doesn't hate that? Right, so it didn't take me long to find this place. Look at that thing! If only I could reach it. Can I hold on to that for just a second? I've got a better bell sound effect for you. Oh. Okay, now I'm being reminded of Twilight Princess a little bit. That's not necessarily a bad thing because I love Twilight Princess. Oh, I see. Can't hit that for some reason. Lining up a shot is going to be a little bit annoying. Huh. Well, that doesn't work.
Oh, enemy specific to the, dwe the Dweller Mask, right? Okay. Still got a long way to go before we can stitch that hat. This is by far and away the coolest part of the whole level, like this whole area. I'm gonna wait for both of them to come back and then I'll jump over them. Like this. Key. Time pieces over there. I need to find the door. Also there's a horn. Probably use this opportunity to look around if I find any points of interest that may or may not help. This is pretty cool, I like this area. I don't know if that was how you, what you were supposed to do. Oh wait, I think I see what you're supposed to do, right. I wasn't fast enough, that's what's going on.
There's like shit all the way out there. Not sure how to get to that. But yeah, let's go back this way. Don't you love it when you figure things out by accident? It's like, oh, okay, I totally meant to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. I just need to find the key for it now. Oh wait, that's the way we came. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. I can't get out. Oh, right, okay, that changes, right. Okay then, that's what that does, it changes the colour of the gate. There we go. Oh, I like how the music's a bit... I like how the music has a bit of progression to it now, like it's a little bit different from before. Trying to attack him. There we go. Annoying thing there. This music reminds me of another song from another game. In fact, I'm going to show you what song that reminds me of. Let me just bring up YouTube again. Okay, so this is what it reminds me of. I'm just, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. This might be the GBA version, but this is from Mega Man and Bass. Or Bass. I like saying Bass. For some reason, it just reminds me of that particular tune.
So now that you've heard that, tell me if the melody sounds a little bit similar, not exactly the same, but close enough. Okay, so that's what I was supposed to do. Like that part of the melody where you hear that chiming like in the in the background. Alright, where do I go from here? Yeah, when I ask like when I say where do I go from here and stuff like that, it's just a rhetorical thing, like I'm asking myself. I like to figure these things out. Obviously I'm going in the right direction, I just need to figure out how to advance from here. I, mean, I guess I could jump down there from here. Let's try it. Okay, we just made it. Ah, oh, fuck. Right. I thought this was somewhere else. We've been here before. So I need to go back around again. Live and learn, I guess. I wonder if Proto Man and Base will be in Mega Man 11. Probably, actually. Like, they were in Mega Man 10. Speaking of Mega Man, I still intend to play more Mega Man Legacy Collection on the Switch. Not sure when, but it should be at some point soon, I think. I want to do Mega Man 2 soon. Like, I was going to do it during E3 week because there was like a gap between two press conferences, but then it turns out there wasn't really that much of a gap because one of them went on for too long. I think it was like between Ubisoft and Digital Devolver Digital. And then I realised when Ubisoft thing finished because it went on for super long for some reason, that it was only like less than 10 minutes before Devolver, so I was like, fuck, can't do this tonight. And I speci specifically remember there was one person there that came for the Mega Man game and they were a bit upset that I basically promised what I couldn't really keep. I mean, it wasn't so much a promise, it was just me trying to plan and I couldn't really plan. And it wasn't really my fault, but yeah, I kind of remember that. Hmm. No hints. I'm going to continue trying to figure this out. I mean, there's a ice thing here. Oh, fuck, it's this area. Right, okay. I keep coming back down here thinking this is a completely different area. It's not. This is the part I've been to. You just got to live and learn and hanging on the edge of tomorrow and all that jazz. But this time I remember not to do that. Not to go over there and fall down. I get what's going on now. I think I need to blow a horn to make a path open up that I can actually go up there with. Just need to find it.
See, I'm wondering if it has something to do with the the way you hit these bells. Like, you need them in a certain order. Like, not order, but you need them in a certain arrangement. Like, a couple of them have to go on and one goes off or something. In order to make a new path open. Because, see, now we've got them all turned off. So I wonder if I'm supposed to keep that one off and have these two turned on. Right, that doesn't work. Turn that one off and then we'll turn this one on. Yeah, I, th I think we had this arrangement before, but this one covers most of the grounds. Huh. Ah! Tried to disable that there before I fell through. Right, maybe this one needs to be turned on. Or, actually no, that one was turned on. Actually... Maybe all of them have to be turned off and you need to use the Dweller Mask to get up there. Ah, uh, nope. I'm pretty sure you can do that if you're fast enough, but I wasn't fast enough. There we go. Not sure if that makes a look of difference, but it was worth a shot. Nope, doesn't seem to have changed anything. I have no idea how to do this. Right, well I've been here for a while, so feel free to give me a small hint. Because I know where the timepiece is, it's over there, it's just getting there that I don't understand. Wait a minute, is there something below that pillar? Wait a second, what's that? Oh, right, that's the, the alley part. Yeah. This must be frustrating for people who are watching this who are familiar with the game. Like, I'm just trying to figure things out and I'm not really getting it. Can I bounce on that? Even I don't remember what you're supposed to do here. Oh, okay then. So it's really that obscure, like that 
obtuse of a puzzle then. Because I find myself coming up here and then it's just like a dead end. And it's like, what the fuck? I'm assuming there's a horn somewhere that bridges this tree to that tree. But I don't know where that horn is. I'm looking for it and I don't see it. Guess I'll just jump down to the, the earlier part and look for it. Because it might be down here. I'm also getting Klonoa vibes from this area. I wonder if I'm supposed to turn this on. Oh wait, that doesn't work because then I can't leave. I think what you were supposed to do was in that room. Well, let me go back there again and have a look again. Got to really look around for whatever it wants me to do. Oh shit. That caught me off guard there. I didn't realize an enemy was above me. Fucking bastards. Oh! Yeah, I kind of wish that power was not reserved to the trigger button because sometimes I'll press it twice, even though I clearly pressed it once. So I'll quickly turn it on and then immediately turn it back off again, even though I didn't tell it to do that. Like, they, you should be able to assign that to the, the bumper button or something. Like, something that you know you'll only tap once and the game will register as such. I think I see something in there. Or is that just me? Is that my imagination? Nah, I think it's just me. I'm seeing things. Yeah, because this is the part I don't understand. It just... It makes me double back to this part, but then it doesn't seem like I can do anything beyond that. I can't be the only person who got stumped here. Because I've spent, like, what, ten minutes on this one part? Just a second, I'm just going to check how long I've been playing this. Nearly two hours? Right, so once we get the timepiece for this one, I guess I'll stop. As soon as I figure out what to do here. Is there a bullhorn in the area? Yeah, I thought that, but I don't see a bullhorn. Unless it's like really well hidden and I just don't I just don't realise it. Because I was thinking that there was like a, a gliding thing, what do you call it? The zip line? I was thinking it was a zip line that ties this tree to that tree over there. So if that were the case, I would need to find a horn to make that zip line appear. 
I just don't see where it is. I can't see the blowhorn. The blowhorn. Unless it's over there, but then I don't know how to get over there. Hey Red Street Gaming, how are you tonight? Still not sure what to do here, like I'm legit stumped. Unless the game glitched out and the thing that's supposed to appear is not actually appearing, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a puzzle that I can't figure out. anything to him. You s you gave up because you couldn't figure this part out. Right, I guess I'll just do a sweep of the area again from the bottom up. There must be something I've overlooked. See, I wonder if there's a way to escape here. Like, a way to escape here while the red thing is enabled? Nah, I don't think there is.
gonna go backwards. Maybe it's a dead end for now to we find something else. Is this the horn that opens that path? I... yeah, that is it. Oh, thank gods. Okay, so it wasn't in that area. I had to actually backtrack to find it. Now we can actually advance once I get back there. Yeah, people prob some people probably got stuck there just because they didn't realise you had to leave that area and then check elsewhere. That's an easy thing to overlook. Because you would assume once you got the key and go through this door you don't need to come back. You wouldn't think to come back out there and check. So that took me like, what, 20 minutes just to figure that out. Now we can just continue as normal and then we're good. My suspicions were confirmed that was a, a grappling point. Is there anything on the sides here before we continue? Just more um, gems. I'm not supposed to hit it multiple times. Yeah, there's two types of those bells. There's ones where you have to hit it multiple times to like make it grow bigger. And then there's just ones that like expand to full size when you hit it once. Where's the timepiece? Is it below me? Yep, there is. Clear up Twilight Bell. So where do we go next? Actually I may stop shortly because I've been playing this level for a while. Probably do the rest of it next time. Yeah. I think that's a good place to stop actually. The game... Right okay, save and... Save and return. I keep forgetting if this game has autosave or not, but I guess it does. It's always a worry when you play a game and there's no like immediate save option, you always wonder if the game automatically saves after each thing you do. But yeah, I think that's a good place to s Actually, before we stop real quick, I want to see if I've got enough um, items for that relic thing. Enough relic items. <laughs> for that display thing out in the lobby. So I'll do that real quick and then I'll stop and then we'll do some... Uh, what did I say I was going to do next? Um, I can't see the title of the stream right now. Oh, it was Hyrule Warriors, right, of course. Because I haven't played that in like a couple weeks and I want to do more of that. Sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained tonight, don't mind me. I'm trying to remember where that podium was.
There we go. So what do we get for doing that then? Got a new thingy, would you call it? A new rift. Right, the tricolor graffiti kit. These were made for vandalism, de vandalism definitely. Even I feel compelled to take these and go draw on everything. I can only conclude that the vandalism toolkit must be illegal. This makes the relic extra, extra rare if only the package hadn't been opened. Only a monster would open the package of a rare item. <laughs> okay then. Right, well, I do believe that's a good place to stop then. So yeah, that was pretty good. We got a good bit of progress done on the Alpine skyline. Quite a big level and there's a lot of, st a lot of stuff to do there. Not sure if it's my favourite level, but it's a challenging level, I guess. So we'll do more of that next time. I think I'm getting close to the end of the game, actually, so... Maybe one or two more streams of that and we'll be finished with it. But then we'll probably do some post-game... Or... I say post-game, but what I mean is, like, I'll check mods out, maybe get the rest of the time pieces. Check out the remainder of the time rifts that I missed. But yeah, we'll do all of that. Uh, again soon.